crafty peeps. Hopefully this is going to work this morning. Let me scoop my table up just a little bit here. Okay. Um, we're going to be finishing up our little chipboard um, mini album that we used our photo play Matilda and Godfrey. You can purchase that at scrapbookers. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Countrycraftcreations.com. <laughs> and I'll have the link down below for you. Um, you can also purchase these cute little um, ephemera pieces. And also it does come with a sticker collection. So that's really awesome. Um, let me kind of go through what we went through, um, what we made yesterday. So we did this page and I thought that turned out really cute to hold those little um, smaller school photos or just small little snapshots from your Polaroid. Um, we have this one. The Happy Haunting Spooktacular. The photo can tuck right underneath here. Um, so that works. And then we also have the Boobash one. And all of these hold, uh, these two hold the four by six photos. Um, hi. Hold on, let me move this down a little bit so I can see. Not that. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so unorganized. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Carly. And Lighthouse Bible. I don't know your name, but hello, hello. Hi, Terry. Thank you guys for joining me. I was just trying to let people know who um, who are going to watch the video later, kind of what we're doing. So I think this is turning out so stinking cute. Um, so we only have three more pages to do today because obviously we don't need anything on the back of it. So it'll lie flat. Um, where did my little cover go? I'm delirious. Oh, there it is. Okay. So let me get started off with that one. Okay. So you see, I have my little creepy, um, teeth that I added on here. And let me tell you what, this is really cool. I used like some, uh, really light colored, uh, Nubo drops. Um, I think it was called apricot something, but anyway, I thought it looked, um, really creepy. You should be cleaning. No, Tanya is always scrapbooking time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know, this is what I do every day pretty much. Um, so I'm just going to flip this over. And what I was thinking was, is I wanted to be able to add a few more photos from like uh, trick-or-treating when the kids go to the party. So this is what I'm going to do. I grabbed two of my eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. All this would be easier if you had a 12 by 12. I know Tamara sells 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock, and it has a linen feel to it. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, but I have eight and a half by 11 right now, um, in my stash. So what I did was as I cut it to six by eight and a half. Okay. And I scored it at the four inch line and the eight inch line. Okay. And so I did two of those. And actually before I glue these together, let me get out my little score mat. Um, let me go ahead and ink these. And where did it go? Okay. I'm just going to use some black ink cause that's kind of what I've been using right now. And I'm going to continue to go on with that. And also, and Tamara store, countrycraftcreations.com, if you're new to the channel. Um, she uh, also has the Prima inks. And so I love them. I'm not going to lie. They're amazing inks. Okay. One of my absolute favorites. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And then I'm actually going to get this little side here. Oh, and I want to mention that one of the ladies on here mentioned to me that she found these brushes at Sally's. So I just want to let you know that Sally's is also an option of where you can get these. I did not know that. Um, at Sally's, I bought my little, let me show you real quick. I use these a lot. My little pokey tools is what I call them. But this is for nail art. And so they have a rounded edge and then a pointy edge. <clears throat> and so I bought like a set of those there. But now I guess they have these little oval brushes too. Now I don't know how much they are, but I just want to let you know that option is there. 
I get mine from Amazon, but you do not have to do that. I know that they sell them, uh, I heard that they sell them at Walmart. Now at my particular Walmart that was in Texas, when I saw them, they were purple and I have no idea um, if that will affect you being able to tell which ink you were using. Like I know that this is the black ink. I know that this one is a sepia ink. I know that this one is called um, vintage antique linen. Sorry, antique linen. So, because I can see on the brush. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is exactly where I, like, I got these from Amazon. I'll put a link down below for you at the end of the show um, in the comments. If you want to get those, I got a whole set of 10 for like, I don't know, under $15, but there are different sizes though. I will say that. So I use some of them for inking and the other ones I use them as um, small little eye makeup brushes for my eyeshadow and stuff, but you could use them for lots of other things too. Okay. Let me just do this one more. And the inks and the paper collection you can get from Tamara store. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I had this all set up a second ago. I totally had a brain fart. Oh yeah. That's what I want to do. Okay. So I'm just going to glue this with my art glitter glue. Also, you can get that at country craft creations too. And I love this glue because one, it works. Whoops. Ooh, I used too much. Oh my goodness. That was my bad. I know I need to put my tip on there. Okay. And then I use some dry wipes and my favorite kind are the cheapest kind that you can get at Walmart or any store. Don't get the Huggies, the Huggies uh, brand sheds. Okay. And then you'll get lint stuff everywhere. So you don't want that on your project. Okay. So I'm thinking, no, I want to go this way. Okay. So I'm not going to glue it down just yet. I want to do some layering here. Like I did on the other pages. Plus I need to have a four. I need to make a four by six one. Let me see if this is four. Yep. So I'm going to do that real quick. Let me get out my cutting board. I changed my blade. So hopefully it's going to behave today. <laughs> Yesterday it was kind of getting a little scruffy there. Uh, I'm weird. I like to line it up on the line. I know that's crazy. And it is acting up. Maybe I didn't put it in there right. Hold on. What? Stop it. Okay, well, that's really bizarre. All right, hold on. I think I need to get a new, I have to get a new one of these every once in a while. And I hate that. Because there we go. It'll start getting stuck. And I really don't want to play with this today. <laughs> there we go. And I got some twine from the Dollar Tree. For my little, or you could use ribbon. I'm going to put this at six and I'm going to save these little scraps because I might use them for something. So I'm going to put them to the side here. You go ahead and ink this up. If I miss any of your questions, y'all just let me know. I'm trying to stay with the feed. Okay. Um, let me see what else I want to use here. 
I like this one. And I kind of like the potions. Not kind of, I love the potions one. Um, so I think this is what I'm going to do. You take that off to the side. Let me cut off this little edge right here. And I can't wait to make a banner pretty soon. And I'm going to be using from our new Craftology box, the Cardabella collection. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know. I've got a lot of things in my mind that I want to make. And <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Halloween is my favorite. So I kind of go crazy. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I want this to go, I want this to be straight. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on here. And like I said, you don't need much of this glue because it does spread really well. And when you buy your first bottle from Tamara, <clears throat> if you buy the smaller one, it comes with a little metal tip, which will help you um, do some fine, fine um, lines with the glue. So I, I love this tip, okay? I just need to clean mine out um, and some hot water. All I do is use hot water and soap. Okay, so let me get this working here. Thank goodness this paper is directional because I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go a little darker with my ink here. And trim that up. I still think I need to go darker. It just, sorry guys, I'm really trying to go really dark. I guess it's not really going to show up that much because it is black paper. Hello. Okay. But I wanted to try anyway. So I'm going to put this over here to the left. Nope. Maybe I'm going to do this to the right this time. Yes, I am. Okay. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Hi, Michelle. Let me line up my little guy straight here. And I'm just kind of doing this gently because I don't want to crush my little plastic eyeballs, okay? So sometimes when you're working on your, your back page, you really want to be a little bit more gentle with your stuff. I think also I want to add in some interesting effects here and I'm going to use some Rick Rack. I wish I had like black or orange or something, but I don't right now. So I'm just going to use this kind of khaki color and you can still use your art glitter glue for this. You could also use score tape. And I probably use too much. This is where that fine line, uh, your little metal applicator works better for this little part right here. But just going to kind of make a zigzag. Ah! 
Hello. You guys know I'm trying to tear stuff up, as always. Oops. Helps if you hold it down for a minute. Probably would work better with a glue gun, but I looked for my glue gun again and I still can't find it. It's got to be packed in some box that I am not aware of. This is what happens when you let movers pack your stuff. It makes me crazy. I'm just going to keep on going on with this little zigzag. And I literally kind of fold it over so that it will, this zigzag stuff is a little bit thick, this rickrack. It's not as pliable as I've seen. Must be the type of fabric they used for this one. So that's why I'm having to flip it. I'm going to hold that down with my finger for a minute. And I mean, you could literally just keep continuing this, you know, throughout this little page. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to do a little design here at the end. Ah, I need to use more glue. Oh no, I lost you guys. Hold on. Uh-oh. Shoot. Let's see if they're still there. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see if I'm still live. I don't even know. Ugh. I must not be. That's bizarre. Okay, are you guys still there? I apologize. Yay! Okay, good. Oh, I was getting nervous there. Okay, I will move my little mouse so that I don't have that issue again. Okay. My bad, my bad. All right. Phew, good grief. That was crazy. Okay, sorry. So I've got to redo a little glue here. Apparently this Rick Rack is very, uh, it just ate it up. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess I should have used score tape. That always works as well. But for now, I'm just going to hold this here. Press it down. Stay. Are you going to behave? Are you? I'm just wondering. Like, yep, I thought this was going to work. It may not. But I want to keep on trying. Since I've already made the little glue spots. Okay. Well, if it pops up later, I'll just try it. Whenever I find my glue gun, wherever the heck it went, I will fix it. Okay, then the other thing was is I'm thinking I want to add a little something in the center too. Um, let me see here what I've got. Or scraps. I'm loving these stickers too. They're so stinking cute. Okay. Mmm. Let's do some polka dots, or we could do bats. 
No, I don't know. I'm thinking polka dots, guys. Move that out of the way. So I think I'll just do about an inch. And most likely, I'm only going to need this about five. Well, I'll make it for six inches, but I think it's actually less than that. We'll just double check in a second. Oh, no, six inches was like right on. That's perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll ink this up. I love doing lots of little layers. I mean, they're always fun. There's like a myriad of things you could do with these. So I love, I love, love, love making chipboard albums. Tags, you name it. Anything that I can embellish a whole lot, I find entertaining. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are like that, the same as me, but I love, love, love to embellish. I think that's probably the funnest part of scrapbooking for me. Besides, you know, coming up with different designs. Okay. And we'll just kind of edge that there. Let's see here. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. But before I actually do that, let me get my string ready. And I think this time, just to be on the safe side, I'll use score tape on the edges of these. And then on the inside, I'll use the glue. So this is quarter inch score tape. And you can also get this at countrycraftcreations.com. Right, Debbie? I'm telling you, embellishing is like the best part of scrapbooking. I know some people don't like to embellish, but I do. This is like literally, this is why I have a mess here, okay? Because I go crazy. Make sure I have enough there. I probably have about 18 inches of string there. And after you've been scrapbooking for so long, you get pretty good <laughs> at measuring and knowing the measurements. Okay. Then I'll put my glue in the middle here. That's strange. Okay, I just want to make sure. Just going to center this in here. I'll move it up a little bit. And don't worry about this ink. This actually came, I guess it was on here from this and I thought it was dry. I apologize for that. I'm just going to burnish it in. Smooth it down. Okay. And then I will add some paper to this top one. I'm not going to do it on every single one of these, just the cover of my book. And of course the, the back right here. Um, but this is where exactly, this is the exact measurement of my photo. So I'm not really worried about, um, you know, covering that with paper since there's going to be a photo there anyway. Let's see what I want to use for the front of this. I do have some cards, journaling cards. Let's see if there's one that's actually four by six. Mm, no, but that's okay. We have this Harlequin print. So we're going to go a little bit less than four inches. I'm going to go to, hold on, let me cut this off. This looks crooked, and so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I must not have cut something right yesterday, but we'll see. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to do um, three and seven eighths. 
inches. Well, I thought so. Nope, we're going to do three and three quarters. Yep. And we had it six inches. So let's try five and three quarters. See if that makes it even. Yuppers, it does. And I'm not even worried that the print is the other way because I'm going to cover that up with one of the journaling cards. You go ahead and ink that up. Hi, Annette. Oh, girl, yes, you know you can always watch these later. This will be here, hopefully. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will be. Yesterday stayed up there, so that's good news. Okay. Let me go ahead and glue this one down. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, okay, so for the, the blood that was on the little head of this Frankenstein guy, I used um, the drops, the Tim Holtz refill drops. Let me see which one it is. Oh, it was Victoria, Victorian Velvet, I believe. Let me look. Let me see. Yep, Victorian Velvet. Yep, I love those. Okay. Yes, live is more fun because then I can talk to y'all. And then I'm not bored at home. <laughs> y'all entertain me as well. All right. So let's see what we got for cut apart. Oops. I threw these in here yesterday. So some of them are actually from the photo play um, ephemera bits. And then some of them are actually actual cut aparts um, from the paper collection. So I apologize that I kind of mixed them together, but I didn't want to lose any. Like, I love that one. But, I'm oh, I really like that one. Let's do Creepy Crawler. Okay, so let me ink this one. And before I lay it down, I'm going to lay it down some. But I'm thinking I might be able to tuck some things underneath. So I'm only going to do this little part right here. Okay, burnish that in. And let me get out my stickers. So we have like this creepy hat. We have the black cat. I could do. See, I don't want to lose my cat though. Ugh. Nope, maybe I'll put him over here. Yeah, we'll put black cat over here. And I'm sorry, I should have used my art glitter glue underneath there, but I didn't. That's, I think we'll be all right. Um. Let's see, we could do spooky. I think we'll do that right there. Okay. Um, and I like these little stars, so we'll put one up here. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'll put it down here. That looks good. Y'all, I never know what I'm going to do. Okay, let me tie this up real quick. And then when I'm done deciding where I'm going to glue everything. Oops, ugh, I made this too long. I probably could have got away with 12 inches instead of 18. So I'll just trim that up. Um... I've boo-booed. Let me glue this down real quick. And 
and then do my little star. And I think I'm actually going to put him over here on this side just to kind of offset what I've got going on here. And then I can go ahead and continue gluing this part down. You know what? This bow is driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. Bye, Debbie. Still going to cut it a little shorter. All right. So now we've got that down. Let's see what else we can put in here. We've kind of got our, nope. I could put this here, but he's not going to be able to um, be glued down all the way, which is fine. And we need some color over here. So let's see what we've got. These kind of look a little wide. That's what I'm a little worried about. That, let me see if that will. The only way I would be able to use this one is if I put something on the back of it. So I will wait on that one. Um. To do the little potion bottle. And then I have some bling over here that was gifted to me. So I'll probably do a little bit of bling. And I highly suggest when you're doing bling. You should use glue on the back of these because sometimes they just fall off. There. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no, there it is. It's on my nail. Let me get a little um, tweezers. <clears throat> For this one, I am going to use a tad bit of glue. There we go. And let me see. I kind of like this black flower too, but not really sure. Nah. Alrighty then. So now I'm really liking how this is turning out. I like, I think I'm done with this one. Maybe. Okay, I thought I was. I lied, okay? I'm going to throw that in there too. Ink it up a little bit on the edges. Okay. So. Now we'll move on to our next one. And I think I'm finally going to make this one my witch page, okay? So let me start grabbing my, um, I want to make sure I don't make a boo-boo. Last time I made a boo-boo and this didn't fit on there, I tried to do it down here. Um, but then I didn't have enough room for the photo. So let me cut my four by six let me do that real quick y 
Y'all are so quiet. Move this over just a little bit. There we go. I know it's kind of hard to see my um, line. Need to get some better lights in here. Okay. So let's see what I have going on on the next page. Um, Let's see. See what we can do, guys. See what we can do. Just ink those edges up again. Oops. I went a little crazy. So if I put this down here, I can put this up here. Hi, Debbie. You're back. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. That's not right. Nope. So I like my little, maybe I do need to move this down here. I need to move this more over here. There's my little cauldron. Let's see what else we've got here. I know I have, okay, so we've got our little witchy thing there. And we have happy haunting. Let's do that one up there. And we have eek. Let's see what else we have. I don't really like that witch. <laughs> I feel like I didn't do a good job painting it. Okay. We also have a bat. We have our another cat. We have the hat. Oh, the shoe. Let's see. We have the shoe on there and we have the shoe there. So we don't need another shoe, but we could do the hat, which would be super cute or the witchy legs. That would be cute too. Okay. Let's figure out what papers I'm going to use in the background. And I think I'm going to use the, uh, I already got the polka dots. And since it's going to be against this one, I think I want to use the Dia de los Muertos again. I know I just used it, but I'm trying, and I want to add at least a little bit. So we're going to use this little leftover rectangle. You like the witch legs? Aren't they cute? What else do we have here? I need the witchy paper too. Let me see that. I know I have some scraps of that. Like I said, oh, there it is. I knew it. I always try not tearing up a whole bunch of paper if I've got something already to use. So I could... Is this the one that I cut crooked? No, it's okay. So we'll probably use this one here. Just kind of peeking out of the back. I mean, off the side. And then I'll probably have this one. Let me do, let's see, we've got about, I need about two, at least two and a half inches. So I don't know why I did that. I didn't need that out. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're gonna do two and a half inches. I'm gonna ink it up. Okay, so we'll move this out of the way. I'm gonna keep this one here. And I'm actually using these polka dots as a guide to whether or not I'm doing this straight. Um, you know what? I'm not sure if I want. Oops, guys. I really want this underneath. Let me see how much I can get in here. All right. Pull that out a little bit. Use a little more glue because it already like dried up because I did it too fast. Hi Erica. Alrighty then. Let me just trim off my extra here. I don't want any glue on my scissors, so let me wipe that up. I'm going to rough it up with my distress tool. Oops, I got a little over here too that I need to get off. There you go. Rough it up just a bit. And I'm going to ink it up a little bit again. Okay. Now we can put this on here. Let me just double check where I want to put this. If the shoe fits. Guys, did I decide I was going to put it down here? I already forgot. This is why I uh, try to do my best at um, remembering where I place things. I think it was down at the bottom. Help me out, guys. Help me out. I'm going to center this. And I'm going to leave a little bit. I'm not going to glue these edges yet because I may want to do some tucking. I never know. And I'm going to use these dots as a guide. It was at the bottom. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. Okay, so I can go ahead and put a little bit of glue there. Because I know I definitely want to have this end glued down. Oops. Okay, so for this piece, I'm not actually going to um, glue it all the way down. I'm only going to glue it again on my, oh, this, I've got glue everywhere, all over my fingers. Um, just right here on the edges so that I can slide the photo underneath. Let me see those little stickers again. <laughs> oh, I know I definitely want to use this one. So hold on, guys. Let me. And 
And again, I've got glue leaking everywhere. Just going to do the little edge. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see. We've got pumpkins. Those are cute. We've got this little creepy tag. I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. Let me go ahead and ink these edges though first. And I will use a little bit of glue since I've got glue going crazy over here. Now I know I can go ahead and glue this down all over there. Let's see what else we've got. That's really super cute too. Okay, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to back it up a little bit with some of this cardstock, okay? Um, so I'll have to do a little bit of fussy cutting, not too much. I mean, they're not looking underneath the sticker, so it doesn't need to be like super pretty, okay? And then I'm going to put my glue on this edge. I probably should have used the hat, right guys? What am I thinking? But I do like the pumpkin guy. Okay. And then... I know that looks really cute there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put this down. Isn't he? I know, but I was thinking, oh my gosh, I should do the witch's hat. But you know what? We're I think we're all right. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? <gasps> Guys, you didn't tell me my cauldron. What am I going to do? Now my cauldron isn't going to fit. I was supposed to put it there. Oh no. I don't want to lose that sticker. Well, you know what? I think it's maybe, maybe I can do it. You think, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It might survive. It is ripping the paper. Good grief. This is when you got to get really technical here. I'm going to glue it back on. Okay, guys. Do not do this at home. Do not do this at home. Where's my little tweezers? I'm probably going to end up covering up over that little spot anyway. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Okay. Here's my little cauldron. Um, and I just think I'm going to have to put the pumpkin back. <sighs> what a nightmare. Oh, well, I know, right? I'm telling you, I was like, I needed my, you know, it's too late. I'm just going to put it back down. I messed it up, but that's okay. <sighs> oh, well, okay. Let me see what else we could do here because I do like the toil and trouble. But I think, nope, it's not going to fit there either. Let's see. We've got a bat. And see, my only thing is, is that the bat is great here, but it's going to lay on top of my picture. Um, so when I do add photos, I'm definitely going to have to either, maybe I'll just put them down there and make my life a lot simpler, right? 
Why try to make it difficult when they don't have to? And then we have another bat. I just feel like it looks a little naked down here. Super cute. Okay. I'm loving this. These are always so much fun to make. Okay. So what do y'all think? You think I should add some bling here? You think it's good? I think we should move on to the next one. Let me see. There's my one candy. I keep insisting that I put in here in this album somewhere. I got to have a place for the treat. No, nope, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It just don't want to work. And then I'll cover over my bat. Forget it. Okay. We'll move on. Oh, add the stars. Thank you. Okay. We will do some stars all around here. That'll take up some of those bare spots. I love it. Let's see. We don't, we'll maybe put him there. put that one there. Put candy on the next page. You know, girl, I keep trying to put the candy down. I don't think it's ever going to get there. Honestly, it's not. It's just not. We'll do a couple of these here. I really need a smaller green one. But maybe we'll do red. Yeah, there we go, guys. Okay, I think this one looks good. Probably have too many stars going on down there. But you know what? Now I'll leave it. Okay. This is our last one, so we got to make it the bomb diggity because obviously you don't want to cover our last page. Um, let's see here. Should we do like more Instagram? I think the Instagram photos slots are pretty good. Let's see here. So this is two and a half. Try three and a half. And what I'm thinking is, is like, how many of these can I? I think last time mine were smaller than this. Maybe I did it at three. Let's see, three and three eighths, maybe. We'll take off another quarter inch. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let me ink these up. I'm really just trying to ink the edge. The photo is going to be covering this whole entire thing anyway, so it doesn't matter if I get the ink on here or not on the top. See what we can do here okay so now we're definitely going to use we'll just call this the potions page how's that i love the tree maybe we can have the tree in the background here somewhere but you know i just don't i don't see that um and this time we'll use the polka dots So we'll do this one at, we said this was two and a half. So 
so we'll do this at three inches, but let me cut this off first. And we know that this line right here is exactly three inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue these on here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a little distracted. Um, I thought there was somebody moving, but it's really just the shadow of the tree, of the palm leaves in front of my yard and moving in front of my window. I'm like, uh, like who's creeping up on my window? What the heck? But nobody. I don't have any stalkers. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, Lord. Debbie knows I'm always paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> okay and I'm going to do this one pretty close and burnish it in hold on my little white heat fell on the floor okay oops guys do you hear a big rocket back there who's knocking stuff over all right, make sure. So what I'm trying to do is measure approximately the same as what I have on this edge. And I think that looks about right. And then I'm gonna ink this up. So last time we had the double sided photos on this side. So we're going to get it on this side. Um, but I know I definitely want to have something a little bit going through or I'm not really sure. I want some layers, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling the back. How about ghosts? Or we also have the crazy pumpkin. Let's see. We've got this one or this one. I think in this one. I know it's my ghost, but my ghost wouldn't be outside. Let me see if I do this right. I'm going to do about one and a half inches. Sorry, I'm going crazy. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe one and three quarters. And then I'm going to do it just a little bit longer than this one. And this is, what did I say this was? Seven. So we'll do this one at seven and a half. I don't want to cut off that bottom part. I like how there's more ghosts at this bottom part. So I'm going to use that. There we go. I'm going to ink this up. Okay. We also have our bats too. I'm 
And I kind of, I love this thing that says spooky memories. But the problem is, is that that would require me to do it like this and then it's not going to fit. See, then that would totally cover up my photo. That's not gonna, maybe I can use the candy here. Just kidding. I don't know. Well, let me go ahead and put this down. Whoops. And then this one. I know, right? Don't forget my candy. Let me turn this off. Let me stress that out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm liking this. I have the bats. I have so many things that I could use here that I love it. Uh, let's see here. I just don't want this crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and start placing this down a little bit. Just because I want to make sure it doesn't move on me. And then once I fully decide all that I'm going to use in here, I'll uh, totally glue it down. Let's see here. We have our 31st. We have Happy Halloween, Total and Trouble. Let's see. That's cute. Yeah, I like that there. So I think what I'll do. Kind of place it there lightly. Okay, um, I'm not going to forget this this time. So I know I can go ahead and finish the placement of this. Whoa, I used too much glue. These wipes sure do come in handy when you do that. I go ahead and get my glue on this side. And I'm not doing it on this side because I want to make sure that I'm able to tuck my photo underneath there. Hold it down. Oh, and I want to tell you, okay, so I painted this little wooden cauldron with black, white, and gray. Um, and then I also use the Nouveau drops and the stickles. That was, um, okay, so the Nouveau drops I used was Violet Galaxy. And the Distress stickles I used, I'm sorry, it's not even just, it's just stickles. I apologize, not Distress stickles. It was, I can't read, I don't know, lavender. I just want to let you know that in case you wanted it, in case you wanted to try it too. I've got some bling here. I think, let me see if this will fit. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll do it at the bottom here. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and use a real thin little strip of my art glitter glue just to
place that on there. Oh my goodness, I'm so messy with the glue today. It's crazy. Let me wipe some of that up. I'm, I have never been like this messy before. I really need to clean my tip. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see what else we've got. See, I could do the candy like that. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not, something about the shape of this candy. It's on my nerves. You've never used the Nuvo items? They're like stickles. Um, similar. It, it reminds me more, I mean, it squirts like stickles, but it reminds me of puffy paint a little bit. I guess we'll go ahead and put this here. Since I've been dying to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't know. I'm just feeling like, yeah. Okay, let's see what else. We have our, ooh, our little spider. That'll be cute. Going right, dripping down into here. Now that's cute. Let me get my little, well, Let me use my glitter glue. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Okay, so now I know I can pretty much um, glue this down all the way. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to add a little bit on the back of this sticker here. I'm going to burnish it in so that it's flat. Thank you. I really like my little uh, cauldron. I think that's super cute. But this paper is just precious. And I still can't decide whether or not I'm going to sell this. I love it so much. That's what I, This is what happens to me, guys. I make something and I never sell anything because I keep it all the time. And then I, I'm just like, oh my gosh, why am I always broke? <laughs> oh, Lord. And I think we can go ahead and place that 31 on there. I definitely want to have that in there. See if there's any other stickers in here that I want to use. Um, I really like the ghost too, but I just don't think he's going to fit in. I'm not placing it down. I'm just looking. Nope. Nope. Okay, guys, tell me, do you think this looks okay here? Yay or nay? Another one of the stars. And down here we have a little potion bottle. That's super cute. I know it always is. Oh, for the hat or for the potion bottle? Oh, on the oh, on the right corner. Let's see here. Let me see. You think it should be down here? I don't know.
Okay. Now where am I going to put? I'll put the potion bottle. And eh, we'll do that right there. Why not? Nope. That's not going to work there either. Maybe I can do it there. No, no, no. Maybe not at all. Okay, we'll put potion bottle back. Okay, let's see here. Again, if I use this, I'm going to have to, um, oh yeah, I do like that there. That's super cute. Okay. Let's back it up with some cardstock. And, you know, I say that just because I've got to put a photo down there and I can just slide it underneath. Guys, you know I hate fuzzy cutting, right? Because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I try, though. I try. I do my best. I think I did better on the other side than this side, but that's okay. I'll just use my black distress ink and cover up any of my boo-boos. That always works. See? I love the Distress Ink. It always hides my mess-ups. Okay. So I will just glue here. And I can actually glue down here. I can drag that out a little bit. And then now I can just slide the photo underneath there, not even have to worry about it. Okay, guys, I can't believe it. We're almost done. Let me get out my whole punch. Okay. Now I can go ahead and line these up. I believe this one. Yep. Okay. At least I think it went this way. No, it went like this. Something I've got wrong here. There. Okay, so this one already has a little hole here. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to do the big hole. I was going to do the little one, but I want to use some thicker ribbon here. I don't know. I think this thing made it too thick. What the heck? Um, for this one, I'm going to have to use my pokey tool. Because this right here, when you put the little uh, hair of the Frankenstein guy on there. Oh, wow. See, this stuff is never drying. It's been like drying for two days and it won't dry. Maybe it's just never going to dry. That's really weird. Okay, so don't use this, guys. I will fix this up with something else. It's just, I don't know. I'll probably cover it up with some acrylic paint. But just don't use the dye. So you learn from me, don't use the dye. Alrighty. So this one I had to poke the hole through. I'm alright with that, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I'm just going to make a mark with my pencil. I probably should have made the holes first, but I usually don't. Maybe I will use a little one. And then I just keep on continuing that, you know, lining them up. And I think for me, most people probably would use like one of those metal clips. Well, I don't like them really. So I just see if I can see my dot. I can't. Um, I like using string or ribbon or twine. That way they turn much smoother. I've noticed that they seem to get caught. Um, it's okay, the guy is just not wanting to. All right. Well, when you can't get your pencil to do it, use your pokey tool. One more. Oops, here we go. Hi, Debra. You made it. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to use twine this time. Um, and then I'll attach my ribbon or whatever else I'm going to put around it on the twine. And I'll probably just double it up. Make it a little bit thicker here. I'm just going to start with the bottom. Oops. Okay, I can't double it up. <clears throat> Gotta get out another piece of twine. I ruined it. Okay. There we go. Seam binding ribbon works really well too. I that's like my favorite one to use for sure. I think this is the only one that's going to be the most difficult because I didn't actually use the hole punch for this one. Where? I'm telling you, it's being difficult. Use my tweezers there. Come on already. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is 
screw these. You know what? I'll use I'll use a needle. Anyway, <laughs> just wanted to um, show this to you all, and I hope you all enjoy the tutorial. I'll probably be doing several more of these throughout the holidays because I love doing any kind of chipboard album or anything like that. Um, so stay tuned. I will be live on um, Scrapbookers. No, I'm sorry, Coffee Talk on Thursday. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to do on Thursday yet, but I will definitely let y'all know um, before Thursday. So thanks, guys, for popping on in, and I really appreciate y'all so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all. I'm trying to turn this off. <laughs> oh, my gosh.